Hello everyone and welcome on this video. Today I'm in the car and as you can see there's Android Auto and I'm gonna show you a way to customize Android Auto. For doing this you will need either a rooted Android device or if you have Android 8.0 you can use this without root with a program called Andromeda. For this video I'm going to use my Samsung phone that you can see right here and it's connected to the car. In particular I'm going to show you how you can change the launcher background of Android Auto and get rid of the default one thanks to an app that is called Substratum. As I've said before you're going to need a rooted Android device and following the links on the video's description, you might want to install Substratum first. You can download it from the Play Store. And you can also use Substratum Lite, which, which works generally better on Android 10. Substratum is a theme engine, and you can use it to theme your device to your needs, installing compatible themes. I'm gonna open it and when it asks you to root permission just allow we're gonna skip the intro and this is substratum itself now what you want to do is install themes for it and the theme I'm gonna show you will allow to just change Android Auto's background. Many other teams will change uh, the look of apps on your device. Uh, this theme that I'm gonna show you is uh, indeed called Substratum AA Background. This app can be downloaded from XDA Labs, which is a market for independent apps. You will need an XDA account for it. It's totally free. And you can also use your existing Google account to log in. On XDA Labs, search for Substratum AA Background or follow the link in the video descriptions and you will be able to download it. Huge thanks go to Gabriele Rizzo, which developed this theme. If you wish, you can also download it through Telegram with the APK Manager bot, but you won't receive notifications for the updates. Once installed, now let's go back to Substratum, and as you can see, I now have Android Auto Backgrounds. Now, uh, if you tap on it, you're gonna be greeted with this welcome screen. From here, you will have quick access to XDA Labs. You can donate through PayPal to the developer if you want to help him, but also you have uh, quick access to the previews of the actual backgrounds included. There's even an help section that will guide you, just like I'm doing in this video, and from where you can contact the developer, whether you have problems with the theme or if you want to make a request for a new background. He's totally down to new suggestions for new backgrounds. At this point, you can press on continue. He will ask you if you want to rate the theme. I'm gonna say maybe later. And from here you press select background. And you're gonna see the list with all the backgrounds available. There are plenty of different ones. And uh, as I've said before, you can preview them from the welcome screen. I'm scrolling through them, but I'm also gonna add a link for the previews in the video's description. I've already opened it and I'm gonna show you right now. As you can see, 
from this website. There are really many backgrounds. I'm scrolling through them. If you are on the phone, you can long tap on one of the backgrounds to see the name. There are many backgrounds. These black ones. Um, and also, uh, there are uh, backgrounds with the car logos, vehicles logos. And with the latest update, there are also backgrounds of Volkswagen cars. These right here are GTI patterns, uh, the carbon look, there's the GTE and GTD and even the new Beetle, as you can see right here. Now let's go back to Substratum. I will first select Volkswagen GTD backgrounds as I do have a GTD. Here it is. And once you select the background, select Android Auto with the ticker on the right and press the bottom button and select install selected. You can do this as many times as you want. Once you are done installing them, you're gonna need to restart your phone in order to see them. My phone is now restarting and if I open Substratum and go to manager section, I will see the themes that I have installed. This will be valid for every theme you install for Substratum. I've built two themes, the GTD one and the GTI one. And as you can see, they both have the green name and this means they are active. I wanna have just the GTD background, so I'm gonna disable the second one, pressing the bottom button and selecting disable selected. And as you can see, it turned red. Let's now go on the car. And as you can see, it's connected and I can see the GTD background. Obviously, this is my choice. You can select whatever background you want. Um, this matches my seat's interior. That's why I selected it. And these are my seats. As you can see, they are matching. They look very good. Now, if I want to enable the other one, I can still go back to Substratum and um, change the active one. I will go back to Manager section. I will select both of them right now. One and two. And if I press the bottom button, and uh, select uh, swap overlay state, they will automatically change. As you can see, one is red and one is green. And if I go back to the car, here it is, the GTI background. These are just two examples of all the backgrounds available. There are uh, many, many more. There are more than 500. And there's even the dots effect that you see on Volkswagen. You can see it right here on the dashboard. And many, many other more backgrounds. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel for many other videos. And see you guys at the next one.